Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I'm looking at this book called The Holy Bible. It is the contemporary English version. I think it's backwards. <laughs> That's okay. C-E-V. And I've marked a bunch of things in here that I want to read to you. Matthew chapter 5. God blesses people who depend on him only. They belong to the kingdom of heaven. God blesses people who grieve. They will find comfort. God blesses people who are humble. The earth will belong to them. God blesses people who want to obey him more than eating and drinking. They will be given what they want. God blesses those people who are merciful. They will be treated with mercy. God blesses people whose hearts are pure. They will see him. God blesses people who make peace. They will be called his children. God blesses people who are badly treated. For doing what's right, they belong to the kingdom of heaven. Love your enemies and pray for those who mistreat you. Then you'll be acting like your father in heaven. He makes the sun rise on both the good and the bad people. He sends rain for people who do right and for people who do wrong. Then over in chapter 6 it says, When you give to the poor, don't let anyone know about it. And then your gift will be given in secret. Your father who knows what's done in secret, he'll reward you. In Matthew chapter 7, it says, Ask, and you'll receive. Search, and you'll find. Knock, and the door will be opened. Everyone who asks will receive. Everyone who searches will find. And the door will be opened for everyone who knocks. Also says in Matthew 7, Treat others the way you want them to treat you. That's what the law and the prophets are all about. That means this whole first part of the book, the whole Old Testament, is about treat others the way you want to be treated. Then the rest of the book of Matthew tells all about the things, the wonderful things that he did, all the people he healed, all the things that he did. And at the very end it says, Jesus talking now, I have been given all authority in heaven and earth. Go to the people of all nations, make them my disciples, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teach them to do all these things that I've told you. And I'll be with you always, even till the end of this world. So the scripture I have marked in Mark, <laughs> marked in Mark, is the very last part. Jesus sent the disciples to the east and to the west with his sacred and everlasting message of how people can be saved forever. Okay, the book of John. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. We saw his true glory. From him, all the kindness and all the truth of God have come down to us. Acts 2.21 the Lord saves everyone who asks for help. This is in Acts 13, 52. It says the Lord's followers were very happy and they were always filled with the Holy Spirit, which is the love of God. Now this is a prayer from Romans. Romans 1, 8, 7. I pray that God, our Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ will be kind to you and bless you with peace. This is in verse 20. God's eternal power and character cannot be seen, but from the beginning of creation, God has shown what these are like, these eternal power and character. He's shown what it's like by all the things he has made. This is in Romans 3. And it's verse 21, 22. He accepts people because they have faith in Jesus Christ. 
All of us have sinned and fallen short of God's glory, but God treats us much better than we deserve. And because Jesus Christ accepts us freely and sets us free from our sins. Now here in Romans 4, 5, it says, You can't make God accept you by something that you did. God accepts sinners only because they have faith in him. Romans 5, 5 says, Because of our Lord Jesus Christ, we now live at peace with God. Romans 8, 31 says, If God's on our side, can anybody be against us? Romans 8, at the very end, says, Nothing in all creation can separate us from God's love for us in Jesus Christ our Lord. No one who has faith will be disappointed. All who call out to the Lord will be saved. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Anyone who belongs to Christ is a new person. The past is forgotten. Everything is new. God has done it all. And the final one is 2 Corinthians 13.13. 13. I pray that the Lord Jesus will bless you, be kind to you, and bless you with his love. Thank you so much for tuning in. I had so much fun talking to you about what God says in the Bible. So much of the Bible is wonderful stories of the things that Jesus did. All the people he healed, he walked on the water, all these incredible miracles that he did. How they killed him, but he raised from the dead. And it's just so wonderful. But I like to go through and I like to say, oh, look at these things. These are for now. These are for today. This is for us today. The Bible is for you today. So I'll see you next time. Adios. Be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and ring the bell. And Jesus loves you. He will show you the way. Because he is the way. <laughs>